Welcome back to the channel, my name is Hafiz. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your Game Gear games on the Sony PSP. If you like this type of content, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we well help the channel grow. Spread cheese next. We at Sega admit we may have an unfair advantage with Game Gear being a full color portable with tons of new games. This is still no excuse. Use them to tenderize meat as sunblock or whisk away unsightly poop. Please help save the plant. The Sega Game Gear was released in 1990, making it 31 this year. It is an 8-bit 4th generation console competing against the Game Boy. Unlike the Game Boy, the Game Gear has a full color screen and a loudspeaker. This is 8 years before the release of the Game Boy Color. There are over 300 games released for the Game Gear. Some popular titles include Shinobi, Columns, Sonic and Street of Rage. Probably the only downfall for the Game Gear was the fact that it uses 6 AA battery and offered only 4 hours of gameplay time as compared to the Game Boy which uses 4 AA battery and lasts about 15 hours. In 2020, Sega released the Japanese exclusive Game Gear Micro as part of Game Gear 30th Anniversary. It was targeted for collectors and is available in 4 colors, each comes with 4 built-in games. It uses 2 AAA batteries and lasts about 3 hours. The Game Gear Micro is tiny but it has a very nice screen, about the size of a postage stamp. Since it's an exclusive item, it can roughly be found at about $180 to $200 on eBay. I managed to get the Red Game Gear Micro for about $120 which has 4 games including Columns and Shinobi. Let's get started. In today's video, I will show you how you can play your Game Gear games on your Sony PSP. This method will work with all PSP model on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, do check out the link on the top right and on the description below to see how you can mod your PSP. Now that we got that out of the way, use the second link in the description to download Master Boy. I have downloaded it onto my desktop for easy accessibility. Extract the zip file using WinRA or 7-zip. Here I'm using WinRA, so I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the desktop. Next, you can go ahead and delete the zip file since we don't need it anymore. Open up the Master Boy folder. Use this folder structure to organize your ROMs. The Master Boy can run Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear and Master System games. Inside this ROMs folder, I've included some homebrew hacks for you to actually play around with. Getting your Game Gear ROM. ROMs are a digital copy of your game cartridges. Game Gear ROMs will be of a .gg extension. I can't tell you where to get the ROMs from, but if you do a simple Google search, you can easily find them. Alternatively, you can use a dumper to extract the ROMs from your cartridges. Here are 4 ROMs that I have extracted using the Game Gear dumper. Select the ROMs and transfer it into the ROMs Game Gear folder. Insert your PSP memory stick into the computer. The PSP memory stick is iDrive but yours could be different. Open up the PSP folder, open up the game folder. Now transfer the Master Boy folder into the game folder. Now you can go ahead and safely eject your memory card. Insert your memory card into your PSP. Turn on your PSP. We will run the ProFast recovery so that we are in custom firmware. This will only take a few seconds but let it do its thing. Once it's done, select the Master Boy. Press circle to run the Master Boy. There are some splash screen here, you can ignore this. Let's find our ROMs. Press X to load ROMs. Select Master Boy and press X. This is where we store our ROMs. Select ROM Game Gear and press X to open the folder. Select the ROMs and press X to load the ROMs. You can see the FPS from the top right hand corner. We will test out one of my favorite puzzle games for the Sega Game Gear, Columns. Columns is a tile matching puzzle game which was released in 1981. Using the emulator, button circle is A and button X is B. Let's compare it with my 31 year old Game Gear. The screen quality is so much better on the PSP as compared to the Game Gear. However, the image is slightly stretched as compared to the Game Gear. To load a new game, press L to activate the menu. Press X on Load ROMs. Select the ROM and press X to load the game. To load the GG Shinobi which is a side-scrolling action game released in 1991. Let's compare it with the Game Gear Micro. The audio and picture quality is definitely much better on the Game Gear Micro. But due to the size of the Micro, it is definitely much more comfortable to play on the PSP. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Game Gear games on your Sony PSP. 
my opinion the best part about playing the game gear on the PSP is that you don't have to run it on 6 AA batteries and it has longer playing time as compared to the game gear. The PSP is more than 16 years old but I still play it on a regular basis due to its emulation capability. If you have found this video useful, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I post new video every week. We have just crossed 280 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.